early on from phases, they start to push forward. Now they've gotten to the bracket spot, and this is normally where things get hot. Zombs, however, stuffs it. He's already got three. The paranoia is there as well. Great response. Whoa! As things very quickly... Rave, as soon as they started, they come to a screeching halt. Marv left alone. Heat, you see both Sentinels and FaZe are playing a very similar look. They're gonna full send A, and again, it's Zom! He's there to get one, and he gets a second. I mean, it's like we're watching the same round, Rave. Yeah, without a push this time, a little more respect on what could be happening around the map, but look at how the transition here comes over now for Dapper. He takes the mid, he makes sure nobody can rotate out. The push comes through, Sick here's the reload, a 3k for him. And at middle, Sha already out for one, drops down, not connecting on the first shot, but repositioning for the second. And if you're base here, understanding there's an operator on the other side, man, that peak, Sha's just so good with it. He went to peak again, but seeing Spike was down, that's a lot of pressure. They're gonna back up. And now Spike having to be recovered. Tens wants to work off of this. Easy dismiss for him. And yeah, it looks and like they're feeling pretty good again, Doug. And Annie gets the pick too, right? And that's what well, that's what we were talking about earlier, where Tens just kind of takes over. Right? And and it's so difficult to deal with something like that. But now we see here phase, they're down one, but they still have some options. They still have fifty a little more than fifty seconds on the clock. But will they decide to continue to push in, knowing there's an operator here? From Shazam, there he is. Info grabbed. Great swing by Zombs at the same time. He's going to continue to push the matter and tense us at the same time. A bracket as members of FaZe continue to drop. Rock is left alone in a 1v4. You can pack this bad boy up and send it away. Whoa. He felt the wind on that off shot as it came through the wall. Where the team is, now we'll get FaZe split out for round four here. Sheriffs around as they uh, try to get some laser shots. Tens is going to start off on Zachary, though. Now, there are a couple of sheriffs, so four sheriffs remaining on the side yep. of phase. But, Riv, when you're in a situation like this, yeah, just continuing to drop. When you're in a situation like this, where you've got. Man, Dapper just took so much nice away. How much impact does something like this have on the first half, where you win the pistol, you win the following round, and then you win the bonus as well? I mean, a lot of times this will help you win the rounds coming in for defense. And this is good because it's Icebox can be a very swing momentum map, yeah. right? If you're able to get in A and instantly just totally yeah. go dead silent, make him think twice about where you might be playing, and then you go with the showstopper. Corey launches it out, doesn't get one. The, pre the pressure has to continue, right? They have to continue to move forward. And Zombs again, Riff just continues to hold them back. He's unfazed by what's being thrown his way. Dapper's getting in on it as well. Numbers have made it to pile in favor of Sentinels as it's a firing squad on the A site. Towards B. And, and I mean, it's the right time for something like this, right? If you've been conditioning them that you want to go away, find yourself on a pistol, nothing's really working. Go ahead and spice things up a bit. The interesting thing is we just saw Baby Bay get the Blade Storm from the Ult Orb. So now... We've got something cooking. Corey also has a rifle dropped off from Dapper after losing an initial gunfight. So now, yeah. it's not gun advantage, but FaZe is certainly better off than they were just a few seconds ago. <laughs> Baby Bay being a rat right now. But yeah, they have to change <laughs> it up, right? This The lurk has been coming in from Sentinel, so it's good for Baby Bay to look for that precedent now. He may be able to find something off the mid-rotation here. And it could be seeing Zombs in just a moment. The B-Hit's going to take in. Corey goes high there, and not many people could help him out with the amount of smokes coming in. So a little disjointed as Tens picks up the first one. And then keep, a, keep an eye on Baby Bay. We mentioned him earlier, starting to work across the middle of the map. Zombs might be the first to get contact. That's a big kill. Bladestorm offline. Left. Rockus trades things back. Down to a 3v3. The spike has not made its way onto the site. The wall was up. They made an attempt. But that's about as far as they got. Now with 20 seconds left, you don't really have time to flip things. So you've got to commit. And Shaw can just tee off on him there. Tens gets one as well. Rock is left alone. He doesn't have the spike. He has a Hunter Fury, but he's running out of time as well. Rockus, yeah. he's the one to be able to do it. Not enough time to plant. Oh, they hit on him. He still gets the 300. And it looks like that's what he's going to focus on. I've not been getting the post plant though. Aggro again by Shazam as he takes space away with the Operator. I think another thing quickly to note, Baby Bay has, has publicly said they moved away from using the Operator on attack. He's bringing it into this round. They've already lost Zachary. Let's go. Numbers advantage in favor of Sentinels, and it just continues to get worse. I mean, 
Riv just like a methodical dissecting. Baby Bay with that off trades one back. Shazam still has his operator. Look in the back of A as he trades with Baby Bay there. The shot goes off and they try to find him with the Hunter's Fury. Rockus opens up. He unfortunately does not find anything. So an ultimate going down there for phase. 50 seconds left on this round. And Marv could be the play here if he can move around far enough. Yeah, it's all noise, Riv. The Hunter's Fury, the Jiggle Peek onto Sh Shazam to make him think it's there. That's where they think the hit is. Look at how they're posted up on A. Right? They 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 have to respect what they've seen. And they that's can't why wait they for can't too walk much away. though, Doug. Yeah, you're right. They gotta be happy with what they have right now, the space they've taken. Left. And you already see the remaining members of FaZe pull off. They're going to rotate to B. Marv is already there. He should be able to get the spike down. The thing for Sentinels is they have three ults, right? They have full rifles, and they should be able to approach this together. There's the first one. Sick with the Hunter Fury. Not going to tag anything up. Right here. Are they going to split this? A little help there from Shazam. Now they're going to go two and two. Oh boy. Into the kitchen goes two. That's a good trade going for FaZe's side here. It's going to be the 2v2 though as they have Ooh. post plant. The spike is down. So that's what Sentinels have to worry about as well. Ten's able to find Rockus in the open. And now the 2v1. Mark left alone. The spike oh, continues wow. to tick away, but Ten's again goes huge. And, and look, Riv, that looked dicey for a moment, right? You see Baby Bay getting a couple of picks, making things look interesting. They can feel comfortable on and close the gaps, make it hurt for the other team. Get a padding of rounds. Here they're working against that. We haven't seen FaZe work from behind in quite a while, Doug. This one starts off with Shazam and Corey trading it back and forth. Shazam continuing to be automatic. Look at how Zoms is playing back on A, ensuring that there are no shenanigans or late pushes onto the site. That should open things up for FaZe, but of course, Shazam again continues to pick them apart. Now they're going to pull off, but I mean, Corey's taking some of the middle of the map, but they don't really know mm -hmm. what's happening elsewhere. And it is, it's starting to be that operator, the textbook, how to battle aggression, fast peaks, wide peaks, operator. Zoms, it's like, you know what I do with the Vandal anyways, is there's another 3K for Shazam. Just Rockus left to see what he can do here. Now, Riv, when you started this match, I asked you... BCT. Right there it all is. the way into the belly of the beast. That Vandal singing early on. He's going to get one kill. The wall's going to go up. That means A is the hit. Keep an eye on Baby Bay on the other side of the map. Meanwhile, yeah. FaZe have gotten onto the site. Rockus should be able to get the spike down entirely uncontested. Meanwhile, Sentinels walk in and go, oh, we have to wait this wall out. Again, Baby Bay, Riv. Moving around. He'll have the flank for a moment. Nobody's looking just yet. How, how long does he hold? I think he's the info grabber for now. He's like, hey, all in sight. Corey's able to drop that. But what an eco coming in for FaZe. Wow. The thrifty. And they switch it up. Start making Sentinels think a bit different of what may be coming each round. Yep. FaZe really subscribing to the slow and steady wins the race this time around. The last two rounds. While the last one was successful, mm -hmm. still left to be determined on this one. It's a totally different approach. They're playing with you. They're just going to paranoia in. They're going to go up across the middle. And FaZe is expecting Ooh. it. Rock is good for three. The showstopper as well. Just leaves Dapper alone in a 1v4. The thing is, FaZe has a couple of members that are weak. So it's possible. But the, tight, the spike continues to tick away. There's, there's really not... Nothing. You see Baby Bay with the <laughs> operator training that out. Try to give him a little fake. Not fighting on anything. Love it. Dapper has lost this round. So for FaZe, Riv, that's twice now, right? Slow things down. Yeah. Change the game. And so far, they're two for two on this approach. And that read was something else. I'm uh, interested to see that. I was going to say, where's Marv uh, compared to Baby Bay here? Because they do have the res. Okay, now he starts going over to him. Say, hey, I may need that. Corey looks oh, like wow. he's going to need that res to start. Ten starts <laughs> off the round well. And you can see they're running in there to uh, see if they can get this back. Rock is holding that defensive forward position. And the res is up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so one of the things that really impressed me from Sentinels against 100 Thieves was how quick they were willing to flip the map. Right? On defense, they see something, and they're quick to the trigger. Right? Yeah. Look at how they got that pick. You already saw them rotate over to B. Meanwhile, a phase cut noise. 
it just looks like they're going to be a bit slower to the play. Oh, what a shot from Corey. That's what that's what FaZe needs. Shazam has been hitting those left and right. Dapper tries to trade it back, and he does get the best of Corey. It looks like it's going to be that BK because the walls start going up. There you go, Baby Bay dashing onto the site. The paranoia comes out. The father is trying happening on A as well as chaos and fuse on the site. Dapper pushing his way through the smoke. Hands good for three. Phase fall apart. Yeah, it's a bit of a different look here though, because this is far more intentional from FaZe on where they want to go. They're gonna invest the Hunter Siri at Rockus. Marv is gonna be the tip of the spear as he takes out Dapper, but Baby Bay as well. Riv, this is way more effective than what we've seen out of them in the past. Yep. Using that choke to be able to get your Hunter's Fury down, phase moving forward. Baby Bay feeling a lot more confident here. We're adding a touch of Smee to the strats now. And it looks like they really want to grab this round. Three rounds will incredibly help the team if they are to lose pistol on the next half. You have a little room to work with that never feels good, but it can definitely make the difference in balance. There's a touch on the spike dog. This is going to be it. Bladestorm! Bladestorm! Oh, it's good! Rocket trades it out. A 1v2 for Zom. Zom falls phase. They adapt. That's rip. huge. Holy but surely. You see them posture up towards the middle of the map of tens on the Reina. Reina's can be so devastating on pistols, Riv. Yeah. Remember, I, I noted tens with the frenzy getting the 4K last time. They decided to go ghost on this one. Feeling a little more confident to take the shots from long. And it does look like they're death balling, which is at long range going to be much more effective with the ghost than trying to pick somebody off with a frenzy. And you can't uh, snow scope in with it. Which is here, dog, and tens getting aggressive. I mean, that's that's textbook tens right there, right? You see them shooting textbook the wall tens. down, and then you tee up. Get ready to go ahead and hit him with the sucker punch right in the jaw. Exactly what he does. Pushes his way through. Gets the kill, and then look the remaining members of Baby, Baby Bay, though. A little swagger, a little spice. Corey getting one as well. It's a 3v3, but the thing is, the members of Baze are so weak, right? Corey's alone. A great response from Sentinels. They take the stay, and on the flank, as Dapper gets the spike down. Them. Oh, yeah, oh my god! Shazam just feeling it right now in a vibe. Tens is gonna answer. Corey, he says, I can do that as well. Beautiful share of shot from him as he steps forward to look for another one. Fearless looks to get another, and he just misses on that staff. You know, phase are known as it isn't just to say they do X on round six. They, he's able to figure out, due to the precedent of how the flow of the game is going, when that strat might occur, which makes him so effective as we start off quick with two and another B hit, Doug. Garv just anchoring things down so beautifully. Of course, as I say that, he drops, but he's dealt a significant amount of damage as he took two away. And that buys time for members of FaZe to rotate over. Now Sick is left alone. He taps, he swings, gets three, drops things down to a 1v1. Oh Baby Bay spotted him. A baby Bay just, I mean, ate that bullet right in the jaw. Just another 26 health here. That's going to give the advantage. That's going to give the space to sick. And he's going to have the Hunter's Fury rib. So he can play off here. And if he chooses to use it in a, in a position where he feels like he has no choice, great. But the advantage that he has right now is so big that he could really forego it. Baby Bay, how do you choose to play this out? Slowly baby Bay has full util and he only has five bullets. This could actually be the situation where it doesn't go right. Great. Job by Sick to daggers. We always see these frags left and right, and you're surprised to see, you know, that off comes through first. It's usually him dashing forward once again to get even more now in a sticky situation, Doug, and he goes down, but Zachary trades that quick kill. Down, members of FaZe starting to rotate over. Zachary's still in a great spot, but 10 turns around. No charges. Takes care of him. A numbers advantage still in favor of Sentinels. As they mull over how they want to play this, they've made a, a considerable amount of noise. B, they did Dude, a the info considerable is getting. amount of damage too. Yeah, you're right. He's just going to mosey his way up towards A. But the thing is, how quickly do they act on that, right? Because space right, right. understanding this can easily flip back. And I, showing that right there, Sick kind of makes everybody stay that was yeah. at B. Yep. Within 15 seconds, you'll start to uh, reconsider what's going on. There's a rotation already from Corey. Sentinels here being very cautious, right? Left. Being very careful about how they take the site, checking every single angle. Spike is going to go down. 
the thing for FaZe is you've got a retake attempt coming from a couple of different angles. So for Sentinels, you have to weather that storm in a couple of different spots. Yeah. But again, there's there's an amount there's a notable amount of gun advantage. Corey just with the Bulldogs with that first pick going in favor of Mark already. Oh, and the second one as well on the tens. Paranoia comes out. Rockus is on the flank. That's what I was talking about. Pinching in from different spots is so difficult to deal with. Zom. Zom's not able to get the second. Corey takes Big care of him. Round. They're going to get the defuse and they're going to get the four. Right? After oh. time has gone on, they step back. Make sure there's nothing going on. Shazam does get given away. Baby Bay making that sting. And as soon as that res comes out, they follow. But Corey responds with a showstopper of his own as he continues to dance around the site. The Paranoia is going to come out from Bay, from Sentinels, excuse me, as they try to get onto the site. Wall goes up. Corey has to back up. And sick oh, drops. That's a big kill. Numbers advantage in favor of FaZe. Corey's weak, though. Dapper with an excellent response. A 2v2. Zom just doesn't have any armor, and Dapper's going to drop as well. Zom's left alone in a 1v2. Drops it down to a 1v1. Zom's in a position. He could phase away, but oh Zachary goes up top and drops him down. The audacity. All I hear is Indiana Jones. Uh, is they've kind of, you know, been running these through. This is our last one. We're going to get it. They're obviously still playing smart, but now they've gotten a little bit of econ uh, trouble to work with. And that may be He's doing a good job, though, of holding a, a bit more forward angle on A. You can see Corey pushed up just the pipes there, seeing if he can hear anything, which is also big. You get distance, you can also hear some footsteps or sounds back despite being dropped. So any position you can gain is good. Tens opening up again as he's able to walk up through mid. Middle of the map has been exposed. Corey with an excellent response. The spike still hasn't made it down, and that's the problem here with the split effort is that things go sideways. The spike's in a situation where it's really hard to get to, but it's just down to Baby Bay. Excellent response from Zoms from Sentinels. As Baby Bay tries to keep the map alive, he doesn't have Blade Swarm. Yeah. He does have, I mean, he has a Phantom, so he's got a chance here, but this has to be, you know, I talked earlier about how when there are moments where you need him to just be a gamer, this is it. Baby Bay, good for one. Dashing forward, looking to get, I love that fake. They're both on the same side. All right, they're splitting up to get the contact fire here. This is a little better. Oh, the tension. Baby Bay. On the swing, the timing's not there. Tense takes him out. We're together here. Or I should say Sentinels as they move up, and it's going to be in sight with that dash. Tens will start him off. Yeah, it's just going to be a straight up retake. I think Dapper, as you said, in a position to really set this sideways. But if mm -hmm. you phase, you kind of you're sniffing some of it out, right? Like you're you're the sniffer, making sure my hello gosh. goodbye. Good night. Baby Bay drops. There's the first kill uh, in favor of Sentinels. Great use of utility here. As we see phase, we talked about the utility, their ability to use that to get onto the site. There's a chance for it. But tens. Tens with the ghost are already good for two. Looking for another rocket trading out. Sick. Trading that back. Corey's left alone and he's not around for long. Pull off at least a little bit. And lean towards A, knowing all of the noise that's been made. Zoms wow. with orb control over on C as the, the team starts to make up ground. Sick here on the bonus. Dapper's going to pick two up with the Spectre, possibly a third as Corey gets that. No possibility to grab that Spectre though, Doug. As a few bits of econ damage get done to Sentinels. It's Baby Bay left to see what he can do. Yeah, against four Spectres. I mean, I guess it's Baby Bay, right? So you don't... Yeah, I guess you can. You can't count him out here. Uh, but, you know, we saw FaZe deal with that yet, obviously, but the death ball sends them they want to run together on these sites. Baby Bay grabs one and two. Down, C. Baby Bay drops. Great response from Sick. But they made a lot of noise towards C. They are able to pick up the spike. I was worried about that. They're going to rotate off, but again, Riv, Marv has made his way up a long, back into, def into attacker spawn. Right? So that's going to cut off any bit of rotation coming through. They almost have to commit to C here. Uh, the trap could give them a false sense of security. That's one thing that happens with it. They are still going to be very wary of what's oh, no. going on. Yeah, they know. Quick peeks to the left, and they're going to have to check it one more time. Right, rather, as Sick is able to drop Marv. Now it's a it's a mad rush to see what they can accomplish before finding another member. Of and you, the you see phase. phase. Squad. It, it, like, sorry, you see phase. They sent Rockus, but they left two. Right, expecting Sentinels to go back to see where they were at the scene of the crime just a few moments ago. 
Arrakis is going to get a ton of left. info here. He dropped. Love that shoot. Covers the noise. Wow. Not expected at all. Excellent play by Rockus. Limping over there, do, doing what he can after a big crunch. Great hide on the phantom shots. And good friend in that situation. And you're basically going off of feel and who you see. Corey using the satchel charge there to try to clear out the cam. It's a slightly different spot. Baby Bay with the blade storm. Takes care of sick early on. Seems like for Sentinels, they should they should be getting a good bit of info on C. Yeah. Might try to expose that potentially with the head of garage as well, but much like we saw a few rounds ago, Dapper's gonna be playing back in that spot across the middle of the map. Corey in a good spot. They're making sure they can keep themselves a little pushed up to get the info. So no one garage yet. They know everything mm. that's happening is they hear the spike getting planted is going to be in C so far. And you see Sentinels wanting wow. to kind of clear garage with a two team. They're waiting. Wait, left. I love this from FaZe. Rave Zachary shows up and he aftershocks right behind that bot. And understanding that's what the plant was. That delays Corey. the plant. Now the spike goes down. But at this point, FaZe has arrived. Corey's already good for three tens with a filthy flick in a 1v3. Got the op, but he's gonna get pinched in from all sorts of angles. Rockus is gonna drop him. Face tie us up at two up. Shadows traveling. Only in a smoke, gonna buy some time. As it looks like Sentinels are reconsidering potentially going for a long or just peeling off. They're not finding what they want, but that pick changes everything. The neural theft is gonna be used as well. Here we go. Showstopper being used from Corey in response. No! 10! With the blade storm! Good for him in a second as he rips Corey and Rockets down. That's gonna give him access to the site. The spikes gotta hurry, though they do have the numbers advantage. They should be able to assume post plants and get the spike down. Now it's gonna be phased in a 2v4. No rolling thunder, no blade storm. An op, yes. But this is where they you you kinda wonder, do you go for it? Do you save? It looks like they don't want to have anything to do with the rest of this round. Uh, if you had Rockus, maybe. Hunter's Fury is there, yeah. and you need the find in the dart to get back into the site. They'll be doing a little hunting here. Shazam comes around the outside. He's rocking his sheriff, but that was a heck of a round from Shazam, or from certain Thames, I'm sorry. Daggers out, flying through, and it's it's one of the things that we haven't touched on much. I'm sure it's been talked about, but that transition of... Tens being able to switch to Reyna, Shazam going back to Jet, having the versatility of agent switch between those two, and such capitalizes on the off shot down C. You're completely bewildered because their phase is just firing on all cylinders for that round, and it hasn't been expected. Sick, able to drop two. Beautiful, run it back to the start. And we'll see Tens now pushing through, hopping through the window just to get that frag. From the window to the wall, he uses the Hunter's Fury and the Run It Back at the same time, and they stack that together. That allows him to get in and really blow everything up, right? FaZe is just down to two members left in a 2v5. We talked, I, I, know, I know I mentioned this earlier, Riv, but we talk about how FaZe stack utility and ultimate so well. Sentinels just gave the face of their own He is Haven is uh, uh, much closer than game one. Marv taking a good bit of speed. No way. No way. The Ships drone doesn't the catch him. And Marv can go in aggressively. Now, now the jig's up and Shazam responds beautifully by taking Instant. Marv out. Just not, it didn't even hesitate, yeah. Bow away, takes a shot. Sounds with, from the shadows. Rock is still having that Hunter Fury. We'll see how they use it here. Great flash, Corey with the swing. Dapper with an even better one. He dispatches him. They're going to use the From the Shadows to get into the back of B. Now Sentinels look to expose some of that. Keep a close eye on Zons. How much damage can he do to prevent the rotate in? Excellent use of the Aftershock, but for Zachary, just a hair too late. He gets the kill, but the spike goes down. Zachary has that Rolling Thunder. But the thing is, you've got tens back in window with an operator, and that makes it so difficult to get in. Cloudburst to make you think twice about it. Stick with the curve ball flashing out as they try to push forward. Here's that rolling thunder that talks about six once again with the flash. He drops. Tens oh. has to have high impact here. But Baby Bay pushes in aggressively. Right? They're gonna use the fault line. They're gonna push tens off. I don't know that tens can do anything about it here. The Hunter series is gonna be used to push back. 
Shazam, and I don't know that they're on it. Shazam has time. Oh my word! Red Bull Clutch coming through. Two, a little bit more with confidence. They're going to leave Baby Bay pushed up. Blade Storm could become useful here in this round as they start to set up for White. It might be a C hit, and they're calling it correctly for now. No ultimates online. There is still an operator in the hands of Tens. Apparently he's going to come out. It's going to push a couple of members back. And I love this. They invest the utility and they pull right off. Oh, man. Baby Bay was waiting for that the entire time. It was very similar to what we saw from Marv in the defender spawn. But this time it was Baby Bay with the knob. Down a short. Now they know a short's not an option. They don't want to go see long because of what they just did over there. That's going to force them into B. Sentinels <laughs> heading into B. Uh... Name a more iconic couple, honestly. They get, the, they get themselves in, and whether it's the dash and plant round or it's the late B round. Uh -oh. They have such good cover on this. Already pushed up through A. Look at these positions, Doug. Yeah, Zoms is in trouble. Zoms is in trouble. He's going to get pinched off. Rockus is on the flank. Shazam was on one as well. I mentioned he was in trouble, but the man steps up again. Drops two on the side of face. Tens is up. Continues to sing. Corey is, excuse me, Rockus is left alone. Bullseye. Beautiful shot. Looking for the econ hits here. Almost gets the <laughs> operator out. Does he want it again? Ten sticks. Maybe maybe that one was triggered by Baby Bay putting pushed up so far on A that they knew the rotations would be flexed out a little bit from the middle of the map and they didn't see anything there. Shazam again. You gotta be kidding me right now. Straight through that trap. Baby Bay scraped a little bit of pressure and this is exactly what FaZe needs to do. No round can just be textbook for Sentinels right now. FaZe has to put the pressure on and Sentinels is adding even more pressure. They say, Annie up, we're going to raise the stakes. I love that from Baby Bay, understanding there was pressure coming from Sentinels towards C. He takes that space away with the Blade Storm. Does a little bit of damage, but then they're just able to push right through. Look at Tens, man. Already good for one. Going to dash away, preserve his life. Just a sliver of health. Exactly. And the flash is there, and the flash does it. Up here for Marv. He's going to be trying to hide from this drone. And see, this this has not been clear. A little bit of round was done, or a little bit of default was done, so drone is definitely necessary. Run it back there from short. We'll see what they can do. Oh, excellent use of the flash. He has to wait off, and then he uses the From the Shadows to get to safety. Meanwhile, Rockus, good to take care of tens. Excellent response to the run it back. Doesn't provide a whole lot of value. As kills continue to drop left and right, Marv, who managed to stay away alive early on, is good for two at the end to give the numbers advantage to FaZe. Now Shazam is in a 1v2. He doesn't have a Hunter's Fury. Doesn't have the spike. But that shock dart there should give away some position. The has an operator Good peak. in tow. I love the peak, and you can tell early on. I don't know if the spike's going to commit that way, but they certainly want to cause some damage across the middle of the map. Baby Bay turns away. It wasn't a flash, but Tense dashes in with that blade storm that we mentioned, taking care of one. He's going to get tagged up, has to step away, and now the spike starts to rotate elsewhere. See what kind of shots they can get from Garage here. It does look like they've regained the sight on B. Wow. Maybe have a four retake on A, so they're not worried about it. Shazam drops Corey. Make that three now, Doug. And Zachary answers back on Shazam. It was only good for one, a 2v2 here. There's a Hunter's Fury coming out of Rockets, and the spike doesn't go down. Huge. Morf shows up at the right oh time. For cameras everywhere. It might be here, it might be there. Could have hit it. Got him. <laughs> and look at look at where. Both Corey and Rockus are for phase. Right? They're so concerned about this flank through the middle of the map that they back off. Meanwhile, the remaining members of Sentinel oh, Phase, excuse me, are on the site. The paranoia is gonna come out. Sentinels have to respect it. They've already dropped Zons and they've dropped tens. But sick. The guy who was the hero on this map last time around coming up big dapper, good for one as well. What a response oh. from Sentinel. You've gotta be kidding me. Dapper's patience and Sentinels start to creep around. We may see the team start to put a little bit of priority onto that. Tens, tens, good and... for one. Oof. That's all it was. Meanwhile, Sick going in aggressive. He gets another one, but he gets traded out. It's both continue to drop left and right, back and forth. As Marv drops as well, numbers advantage very quickly. Goes in favor of Sentinels as Rockus is left alone. Wow. He doesn't have the spike, right? That's so brutal. He's going to have to work his way in, and he cannot. Dapper sniffs out. Where the remaining phase happy to really take that space away to hold W10s once again. 
on the flank with the judge. Baby Bay dashes into a smoke, and they're able to respond so beautifully. Riv, this is a judge and, and Spectres right into full rifle. Maze is just down to two. You hold the judge forward. Corey takes care of him. McGaffrey's there on the other side to take care of the last one. Rockus left alone, not able to keep up with the tracing. 29 health left. And the dream looks like it's very quickly going to turn into a nightmare as Sentinels try to hunt him down and get themselves to 10. A, a great response here. And Riv, money is so big for Sentinels here. Absolutely. And that round, they've been playing two towards that A side just to start. Not many rounds here, but then flexing it around. They had two, as we see Rockets go down, two behind default box. Uh, on Icebox that got them a little bit of an advantage. Baby Bay with a quick classic with cheese all the way towards spawn there, Doug. And it looks like they'll have a decent post plant. Right here. And the Blade Storm is online for Baby Bay, right? So you, there's a chance for something here. There's that, there's that running back and it instantly drops Baby Bay from up top. He gets one, not able to get a second. Just aim intense, answer the call for Sentinels. Corey tries to stay alive on this corner of the site. He's got a sheriff. He's got a couple of blind shots. He's good for Ooh. one. A thrifty round win is what we're currently looking at on the mini map. Here's a flash. Sorry, bro. Nice shots from Sick again, left. man. On, against 100 Thieves, plus 18 across two maps. Right, and he seems to be putting up equally as impressive of a performance. Right. Phase gonna dash into A. Here's that retake on A that you talked about, Riv. Keep an eye on Shazam. There he is, the Hunter Fury, once what? again with 10, as he's good for two, looking for more. The Blade Storm still online, pushing his way through the smoke, and then he whips out a little bit of spice to keep back the Bucky, making him think twice about it. And with that in mind, there's really no way through. Sentinels take the site back. They Let's see what they dial up here. We haven't seen that, that hot heavy yet. What we have seen from that is from Sentinels, and, and here start. the aggression gets punished. Nice trades there. FaZe feeling confident to start some of these shots themselves. A little bit of a dash. Oh, don't say it so. Marv going down to 11 on that one. They're going to be all right, though. As he comes up with that frag. Always tough to shoot somebody who you don't know what their actual movement is. Then they're yeah. going to dash away. Little. But they are going to be able to retake his five. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I also want to keep an eye on some of the post plants from FaZe. Zachary with the Rolling Thunder. He can play back or he can go in aggressive. Understanding as soon as he gets a tell on where Sentinels are coming from, he can push that back and buy time. I love these retakes. 5v5 spike planted. You hardly ever see this. Oh, and you get to see how the util is perfectly used to retake the site. Oh, sick. Sick gets a kill, and that's what he needs to get the rolling, or excuse me, the run it back. Hence with the operator gets one. Sick once again, showing the efficacy of that ultimate. The spike is going to start to get a fuse. Dapper sticking on it. Zombs what? continues to stick the matter to phase. Sentinels are on map point, a flawless round. I would be terrified if I had to face Sentinels here on out. FaZe is still FaZe. They're a team to be reckoned with. Sentinels, however, just really feeling the vibe today. Marv looking to keep the team alive here. The 4v3 dog. The possibilities there as Corey comes up big. Yeah, FaZe, FaZe in, a, in a real pretty spot here. They've, they've been able to upgrade a couple of weapons as well. So now it's just Zachary. He's still got a sheriff. Wow, Shaz. That's Shazam. And tens in a 2v3. He has the op, but that's all he's really got here. And the other problem is, Riv, they're on the opposite side of the map. Zachary's going to be able to get the spike down. And it's going to be a bit of what we saw last time, right? They still have that rolling thunder. They yeah. still are in a decent position here. But Sentinels don't have the same firepower to retake A that they did previously. So B or C to A has been the play now for FaZe. They're figuring out Sentinels. And like I said, it's not like Sentinels is falling for this strat every time. They're happy for the retake. And that's what FaZe just has to play off of. They have to be more sure that they're going to be able to snuff tens as soon as he gets in. Even if he's dashing into your face with the operator like it's a damn shotgun. Uh, Shazam and the rest of the team trying to do blind and find with the utility they have. Because... Sentinels is not right. They have been undefeated up until this point. That's true. Very, very true for Sentinels. An operator still in the hands of tens. Rifles the rest of the way. 
no early aggression really really from either squad understanding that the moment understanding how tense this is sick my gosh how do you? How? How do you? Like, how do you? What do you do? What do you play against? Your your strat just got picked apart once. It's gonna be the plant mid. I still like this from Phase because if you act that fast, Sentinels is gonna think they have you on the back foot. So you quickly planning, they now have to react. And Phase has been able to get pretty good ground on on rounds like this. And again, Zachary still has that Rolling Thunder. He's got to stay alive. He's got to be able to provide value from that if they want to keep this site as theirs. There's that Rolling Thunder, but Sith once again on the swing takes care of Baby Bay. The Blade Storm's offline. Dapper gets once as well. Som starting to stick the oh spike. Oh my god, Zachary Dapper! has to swing and he doesn't have any choices. Rock is left alone in a 1v5.